As the world becomes more data driven, the demand for professionals with expertise in managing and analyzing data is growing at an unimaginable rate. And this is where a master's in business analytics comes in. With an MSB degree, you can expect to earn a lucrative median salary of more than $90,000. That is around 75 lakhs in INR. And top institutions like Duke, MIT Sloan are setting even higher standards with an average base salary of $127,000 and a signing bonus, which itself is $20,000. And according to the GMAC, the demand for business analytics professionals is only set to increase in the coming years with over 80% of the companies planning to hire business analysts in the near future. This is driven by the growing need for data analysis and management in industries ranging from edtech to health tech to fintech. So if you're considering a career in business analytics, now is the time to jump in. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the master's in business analytics program, including what you can expect to earn, the admission requirements, and more importantly, why is this field constantly on the rise? Sit back, grab a snack, and let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Abhang Shunit, and I'm the CEO and study abroad expert at MIMSA and Mentimi. And in today's video, I will reveal all my data-driven secrets with you to help you land that coveted product management position. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to MIMSA to get all the latest study abroad updates. Are you ready to learn about the incredible career opportunities that come with a master in business analyst degree? Well, buckle up because the salaries in this field are nothing to joke about. As a business analyst professional, you could be earning top dollars in some of the most in-demand jobs in the industry. For example, data scientists and data engineers can earn anywhere upwards of $90,000, while project managers, data analysts, and business analysts can earn upwards of $90,000 to even $200,000 while financial analysts, market research analysts can earn between $80,000 to about $150,000 respectively. But where should you really go to study business analytics to maximize your earning potential? Well, the easy answer is the US, where you have top tier schools like MIT, UCLA, Duke, Georgetown that offer salaries of $95,000 and above. If you are more cultural, you can go for UK institutions like LBS, Imperial, Warwick, which offer salaries upwards of £55,000. In Canada, schools like Shulich, UBC and Queen's offer the average salary of about $80,000. If you want to study in the more continental Europe area, you can count in France, which has schools like ESCP, ESSEC and HEC Paris, which can easily get your salaries upwards of 50,000 euros. If you really want to maximize your earning, again, US is the place to be, with a thriving tech industry, especially in the Silicon Valley. So there you have it, a quick rundown on the incredible earning opportunities in the field of business analytics. Now you might be wondering, mm. what are the admission criteria? How do I really land a coveted position at a top MSBA school? Well, the requirements can vary depending on the school you're targeting. But don't worry, I've got you covered. So now, what do I require to get into most of the business schools? Well, first of all, you need a bachelor's degree, which is usually should be about four years in duration. Here, if you're an engineer, you have nothing to worry. Though if you're a business guy, you've done an undergrad in business, there are some schools that can accept you, but you need to be wary of the admission criteria. You also may need to take up some certification courses, especially in programming languages. When it comes to GPA, try to get a 3 or 70 plus GPA. If you're not sure if you meet the GPA criteria, you have the WS, especially in the US, that you can take up. When it comes to standardized tests, again, you need to showcase a high quantitative aptitude. You need to show a high score here. So either the GMAT or GRE should be taken. Aim for a GMAT score of 700 or a GRE score of 325 and you have nothing to fear. And don't forget about English proficiency. While most schools will give you a waiver of the IELTS or TOEFL, especially in the US region. You can aim for a 6.5 in the IELTS or at least 100 plus in the TOEFL. Those are usually enough to showcase that you know English. Lastly, of course, remember you need to showcase aptitude for analytics through your work experience, extracurricular certifications. That's what needs to be kept in your resume and your essays. Again, if you're worried about your essays, I hope you've gone ahead and booked a free strategy session. You can find the link in the description below. So while this free strategy session, we can help you figure out which exact business analyst degree you should go for, if you're even eligible to target an MSBA degree or not, what are the schools that meet your career goals, as well as meet the ROI requirements that you may be having, and much more. So if you haven't taken a strategy session yet, please go ahead and take one via the link in the description below. I'm pretty sure you won't regret it. Well, now let me tell you, the increase in demand for MSBA is not a new phenomena. In fact, it's been growing for some time now and shows no signs of slowing down. Do you want to know what's even more surprising? In 2019, LinkedIn ranked data science as the most promising job in the US. Can you believe that? And the growth is not just limited to the US, it's a global trend. But why is there such a high demand for MSBA graduates? Well, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics has estimated that the field of data analytics and science will grow by 28% by 2026. That's huge. And to meet this demand, top companies across industries have been ramping up the hiring of MSBA grads. From tech giants like Google and Apple to consulting firms like McKinsey and Bain, and even top finance companies such as Bank of America, everyone is looking for data experts 
to fill statistician as well as analyst roles. And if you think the demand will decrease in the future, think again. The US Labor Bureau has predicted a 15% rise in data industry jobs by 2029, which is a clear indication that business analytics will remain a strong option for job seekers for the years to come. As they say, data is the new gold. So there you have it. The demand for MSBA graduates is on the rise and shows no signs of slowing down. Now it's time to figure out which skills you need to succeed as a proper business analytics guy. First things first, you need to be skilled in crunching and manipulating data. This includes knowledge of data mining and database management techniques. Now it's essential to have a solid understanding of advanced Excel, R, Python, don't forget about SQL and other BI tools like Power BI for example. These are critical for your success especially in the business field. But wait there's more. Skill number three is just as important as the others. You need to develop business acumen and how to deliver a good presentation. This will help you communicate your findings and insights effectively to a business audience. And that is one critical difference between a data scientist who just crunches data to a business analyst who actually uses this data to solve problems in the business scenario. Now, if you keep these three skills in mind, you will be well on your way to build a successful career in business analytics. Now, if you want to become a business analyst, business analytics is just one of the ways to get there. If you don't want to go for a, such a data heavy degree, you can do it via an MBA, an MIM degree, even an MEM degree. All these can help you get into product management or analyst roles and hence can act as very good alternatives if you're up for it. That's a wrap for today, guys. I hope you found the information we shared today insightful and that now you have a better understanding of why an MSBA degree is a great choice for you, especially this year. However, if you're still uncertain about which country and program is the best fit for your career goals, our experts are here to help. Simply click on the link below and book a free 20 minute strategy session with one of our advisors and they'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have and guide you towards making an informed decision. Remember, if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so more people like you can benefit from this video.